I thought that title might get your attention. And so how can you get the same effect or a similar effect as a moon filter without actually buying one? And so what does a moon filter do? Uh, just my opinion, I can't comment on what other sellers claim. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't increase the contrast, but when you're looking at the moon and it's more than half full or a full moon, when you're looking through the eyepiece, it, it can be quite dazzling and cause a bit of eye strain, uh, not very comfortable viewing. And so you want to reduce that brightness. And so with, I've got here a travel scope 70, but there are many refractor telescopes that have a similar second lens cap. And all you do is remove the second one while leaving this on. And so instantly what that does, you don't actually uh, reduce the field of view, but you reduce the light coming through to the eyepiece. And so it's more comfortable viewing of the moon. But there is actually a second benefit. And uh, when you're first putting your uh, telescope outside, you've got warm air currents inside meeting cold air outside and you get and you get air turbulence and 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 also you get natural uh, air turbulence in 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 the night sky anyway and as a rule of thumb the the larger the aperture the more that turbulence is increased and so by reducing the aperture you reduce the turbulence for a more steady view which is also ideal for looking at some brighter double stars it will uh, reduce the brightness obviously but it will make them uh, more comfortable and, and easier to split, I, I would say. And so what no, you've noticed here, I've got a second lens cap and this is off a Newtonian reflector. Same applies. You have a, uh, a second inner lens cap there. Pull it off and put it on the other one. Just like the refractor, you've now reduced the, the aperture. So reducing the atmospheric turbulence, reducing the brightness, and so for more comfortable views of the moon. Notice that with, with some Newtonian reflectors, uh, uh, for reasons I can't work out, they have a central le second lens cap that you can remove, and all that's behind that is a secondary mirror. So may, maybe, you know, so be aware of that. And, uh, and so what filter, in my humble opinion, is actually good on the moon. Well, it's like, it's my favourite filter for looking at Jupiter. And I, I know that a lot of you like looking at planets. And it's a number 12 yellow. And what that does when looking at uh, the cloud belts on Jupiter, it darkens them against the disk and so makes them stand out more. And the same with the moon, it would darken the shadows and to, to make the, the edge of the craters and the mountains stand out more. And uh, obviously you're going to get uh, a false colour. And uh, if you're taking photographs, you can, you can soon alter that. But that, that's my opinion. Uh, a number 12 yellow is my favourite moon filter. And so that's, uh, I hope these little hints and tips help uh, save you some money or even pick the right filter for the right job. Uh, as always, um, uh, link in, in the description where you can visit our website, a good selection of telescopes, obviously you are supporting our channel by doing so, and, and always remember to reply to the order confirmation email saying that you watch our YouTube channel, and I'll always put something a little extra in the box. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.